Uh, Maeve, one thing. A few of our lads and lasses, they wouldn't mind a chat with you. War's ending, you know. Who knows where next all our paths will wind. Your Grace, if I may. Some of our comrades in arms would like a word with you. The war nears its end. Paths are likely to diverge. I see. Thank you. I shall stop by the mess tent later. A Noctis Meave! Slayer of the black lads! Long live the Queen! The war nears its end. What next for Reina Dodo? Whatever you command, Your Grace. Ugh. Is something amiss, my lady? To be perfectly blunt, I've no wish to give you orders anymore. Your Grace, would you wish me to leave? Remove me from the court? No, Reynard. I'd wish you to stay, but I'd no longer wish to be your queen alone. Do you catch my meaning? I do, Meave. I do. The war nears its end. What next for you, Sir Ake? Will you remain in my ranks? Alas, I cannot, as you know, Your Majesty. Having taken an oath, to it I must remain devoted. It could take some time, this ridding the whole world of monsters. Yes, but tis not a task for one man and his life. Tis a task for generations of noble knights. I have but begun this endeavor. It will be for others to complete it. Have you found any successors yet? Or promising prospects? Truth be told, no. A life of poverty lived by the strictures of the good book attracts few. But, God's willing, I shall yet find one worthy to carry my sword and continue along my path. I sincerely wish you do, Sir Ake. Hey ho, how's my favorite queen in the north? So, what awaits you now? What will you do? Been contemplating it of late. Thought I might go back to the life of an outlaw. Not that I'd expect you to approve. You're quite right, I wouldn't. It's why I wish to make certain you'll not feel tempted. Gascon. I hereby bestow upon you a number of estates near Scala. What? Maeve? Uh, uh, damn it, I, I don't know what to say. Ha! <laughs> a first? Thank you, Maeve. A thousand thanks. Tis I who should thank you. With all my heart. Always good to see the Queen. How can I help you? Our conversation in Mahakam. Do you recall it? When you resolved to join my force, leave your homeland? Of course. Clear as day, that. You saved me and my clan. I'm in your debt. Will be for some time. Well, we've won the war. And you had a hand in the victory. Heavily so. As I see it, you've more than repaid your debt. Feeling a wee bit... choked up? as King Desmond said when an assassin's bolt ran clear through his esophagus. Come here and give us a squeeze. Later, perhaps. But Gabor, any plans for what comes next? Ha! I wasn't expecting to have this chat, so I, I'm a bit caught with my knickers doing past my knees. War's over, but we've much left to do. Our relations with non-humans, for instance. I mean to improve them. And I think you could help, Gabor, greatly so. Meaning... you'd like me to stay in your court? I'd see it as an honour, Your Majesty. An honour true. We shall return to this conversation later. No skin off my back. Be seeing each other. War's nearly over. What will you do? Where will you go? The war against Nilfgaard, perhaps. But others drag on and will continue to do so. What do you mean? What war will persist? Scoia'tael survivors still hide in the forests. Yes, but I've heard they retreat to the east. Simply let them go, let them leave our lands. Why ever not? To see them return even stronger? No. 
We must slit their throats, one and all. Now, crush them like worms beneath our boots. Rayla, at some point one must admit there's been pain enough. One must put away the bloodlust. I shall do so in my grave, and not a moment sooner. <coughs> you need my help with anything? <coughs> anything at all, I've ideas aplenty. We've come a long way, Barnabas. You've plans for the future? Hmm. We may have won the war, but I've orders still on my plate. So many riddles unanswered, so many inventions unrevealed. Perhaps you could join my court, continue your work there. We get along splendidly, Your Grace, I know, but that's simply not the life for me. In situ, one sees nothing new, as they say. Besides, I have some unsavoury memories from my time at the court of King Nidamir. Hmm, come to think of it, I do wonder if they ever managed to put out that fire. I understand, Barnabas. Yet if ever you change your mind, you know where to find me. Thank you, Your Majesty. For everything. Time I attended to other matters. Hmm? Ah, yes, you're still here. Off you go, then. The war's near its end. The future, what does it hold for you, Isabel? Wise counsel will always find a place at my court. Hmm. A tempting offer, ma'am. So be it. I shall stay. But I've one condition. You're never to force me to wear shoes. <laughs> These terms I can agree to. Duty calls. I must go. Of course. Should you need me, I'll be here. The war nears its end. Sadly. Sadly, why? I survived. Again. Rebuild your land, Queen. Enjoy your life. Me and my men. We'll be moving on. Arnulf. In Lyria and Rivia, your past matters not. Nor does your shame. Stay. What about after? What do I tell my ancestors when the time comes? I yearn to sit at their table, lass, and drink mead in their company, so go I must. Yes, Mother? I wanted to thank you. But whatever for? For your courage in believing we could reconcile. For extending a hand and helping all this fall into place. I... I wouldn't have done so. Ever. I would have fought it to the bitter end. Mother, I understand. If we hadn't, well, what might have happened? I don't even want to think about it. Then don't, please. Let's just leave this all behind us. It's the past. He worked hard to regain his mother's trust and respect took on many daring missions, regardless of the risks. The lad who Nilfgaard had wielded as a tool now sowed terror along its borders and appeared a successor most worthy of Meave. Having settled in Rivia, Gascon embarked on a life worthy of his new title. In doublet and ruff, he looked to his ample fields and livestock in daytime, attended banquets and feasts come the eve. And then one night, he grabbed his bow and quiver, saddled his favourite mount, and disappeared without a trace. And Meave? As I said, she ruled with an iron hand, not fist. Reynard, ever at her side, tempering, supportive. No longer a general and trusted advisor, he had to the Queen become something more. Much, much more. And now, if you'd allow me, of course. Leave him be, lads. Let him get some rest. Till the time comes for the next tale. And just when you thought things were about to get dull, 